Hi there, I'm Cookie. I look a little different today. Because today I will be reviewing the Rise of the Toasters mod, which allows you to become a protogen. Now, a protogen is a essentially furry character made of uh, machines and flesh and stuff, and it's cool. <laughs> It's essentially just hard. It's a, it's, a, it's a cyborg furry. That's cool. <laughs> now, to start off, the Protogen mod, the uh, Rise of the Toasters, usually you start off as. You start a new world and you start off like this, right? You get random colours to assign to each of the different parts. Uh, it's also compatible with the Origins mod, which allows you to essentially select. Uh, it just allows you to select that as an origin rather than just immediately being that and you also get to select an origin as well as it which is really cool into the content first up we have the interchangeable parts which come with it now a mechanic of this mod is that uh, it allows you to essentially have parts that you can replace your arms, your legs, and tail and stuff with, and it's really cool. Most parts have modules which allow you to do different things. For example, for the legs, there's a fire resistance module, which makes you completely immune to fire, which is absolutely awesome. All right, starting off, we have um, regular stuff. So we have the protogen arm, which doesn't do anything. It's just the basis of the rest of the stuff. Um, we have the protogen tail nub, which changes the length of the tail, so it's a lot shorter now. And we have the regular protogen tail, or re regular protogen tail, <laughs> which essentially is just another basis one. And here the protogen leg, another just base one. All of these are dyeable, so if you want, come into here, grab some of them. Uh, you can dye these so that they're a different colour to your main body for example like this so you're going to have different coloured body parts so in addition to these there are special ones which give you really really strong augmentations alright starting off with the strength arm which when equipped will give you strength one for until it's on it until it's unequipped <laughs> it's eternal strength one and it's really cool um, next up is, oh, and that is made by uh, a protogen arm and a strength arm module, which we will come into later. The protogen arm is made with any kind of wool, two iron and a bone, in this kind of recipe. Um, next up is the stone mining arm, which allows you to mine stone quicker. It gives you a specific uh, buff, I'm pretty sure. Which allows you to mine stone quicker. Yep. As you can see here, it has a much quicker thing mining stone. Even with a wooden pickaxe, that would usually take. That's it's got the, potentially the thing of <laughs> of uh, iron pickaxe with a wooden pickaxe. <laughs> Next up, we have the iron mining arm, which is the same as the stone mining arm except for iron. And it gives you a boost for mining iron instead. Then we have the diamond mining arm, which is the same but for diamonds. And we have the netherite mining arm, which is uh, stupidly overpowered in hindsight. <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot, a lot quicker than it would be without it. So that's the speed with it. And this is the speed without it. As you can see, it's a it's a lot quicker than it would than it would be. Next up, we have the tail called the gecko the the leopard gecko tail, which, when equipped, will give you eternal saturation. Um, and yeah, there's no visual change for this one yet. I don't think yeah, there's no visual change yet. But I'm pretty sure there will be sometime in the future. Next up is the fire resistance leg. Which, as mentioned earlier, will give fire resistance. So you can jump into lava, you can uh, set yourself on fire and you won't take any damage. See? Completely immune to that. 
So that's going to be really handy in the nether or mining or anything like that. Next up is the speed leg, which when equipped gives you speed one until it's unequipped. So in hindsight, <laughs> these are really strong. <laughs> Like, really strong. Because <laughs> you get these, and as long as they're equipped, they are, you have that effect. <laughs> then again, they are, all, are also quite difficult to get, considering you have to make all of these, which we will come into in a minute. So, all of these are dieable, every single one of these. You can change however they look, all that kind of stuff, using dyes and... Yeah, he's shoving a crafting table, fire dive, yeah. So next up we have augmentations and modules. So first of all, there's a blank module. This will serve as the basis for all the other modules. And to make that you need four 8 gigabytes of RAM and not one piece of iron. 8 gigabytes of RAM made with four gigabytes of RAM, and then those are made with two gigabytes of RAM, those are made with one gigabytes of RAM, and those are made with iron nuggets, paper, and glass. You'll need quite a few of those if you're wanting to make any kind of augmentations. So a black module is used to create all of these except for this. So first off is the colorizer. The colorizer allows you to change the appearance of how you are. So for example, if you're not happy with the fur, the metal, or the visor at all, you can grab one of these and you can color them. For example, if I wanted, say, uh, dark red, dark red fur, this slot here, and it changes your fur color. Uh, if you wanted a white visor, put that in there, and you put that there. Changes your visor color, so it's white now. And you can even dye the metal as well. So if you wanted blue metal, then slot that in there, and there you go. Fully customizable, doesn't take up any inventory slots besides these. This is all a GUI included with the mod, by the way. All of this is completely added in for the mod. It's got nothing else extra, so all you need to do is download this mod. So that's the colorizations up, done. Next up, we'll do the augmentations. So actually, first we'll do the protection augment. So the protection augment, you need four things of 8GB RAM, two diamonds, an iron chest plate, then the right scrap, and a gold ingot. Now, this is supposed to apply protection to the body parts of your that you include on here, right? But I can't seem to get it to work. I'm not sure why. I'm don't even, I don't know if it's that it's not implemented yet or it's got or it's glitched or something. I've contacted the mod author about this and I'm waiting for a word back, but hopefully this will work again soon. So the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to have the protection augment in your offhand, the netherite the any kind of body part you want to add it to in your main hand, you just right click. And it's supposed to add a layer of protection onto the body part. But it doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> got rid of that one. So next up is the strength arm module. The strength arm module you create with four things of uh, redstone blocks, two wool, two any kinds of wool, blank module, blaze rod, and netherite scrap. And when applied to a uh, protogen arm using a smithing table, you need a smithing table to apply any kind of augmentations. Uh, you get a strength arm, well, except for the uh, protection one. You get a strength arm, which, as mentioned earlier, will boost your strength. See? So the next one is the speed leg module. So that is made with four redstone blocks, two, two wool of any kind, netherite scrap, blank module, and a piece of sugar. And when applied to a uh, protein egg, you get the... My aesthetic, no! Uh, but yeah, when applied to a protogen leg, you get the um, speed leg. Um, next is the fire resistance leg. Fire resistance leg module is uh, four blocks of redstone, netherite scrap, two wool, black module, and magma cream. 
and were applied to a leg, it will give you a fire resistance leg. Then it's a stone mining module, which is four, uh, any kind of mined stone, uh, two wool, uh, iron ingot, uh, black module, and a stone pickaxe. Uh, it has to be some kind of a cobblestone or black stone. Um, that gives you a stone mining arm module, which boosts your stone mining uh, speed which you mine stone. Next is the iron mining module, which is four iron, an iron pickaxe, uh, two wool of any kind, a diamond, and a black module. When applied to the protogen arm, will give you an iron mining arm. Now it's the leopard gecko tail module. Uh, four things of white wool, three things of 32 gigabyte RAM sticks, a black module, and a netherite ingot. You apply this by applying it to a protogen tail, and that will give you a leopard gecko tail. So this is what it looks like with just the regular tail. That's the leopard gecko tail, blue. Uh, that's the one that gives you saturation, so you won't have to eat, <laughs> ever. Um, and that one's quite expensive to make, but that's actually kind of worth it, because you won't have to eat ever. Uh, next is another mining module, which is made with four uh, netherite ingots, a netherite pickaxe, two kinds of wool, a blank module, and a nether star. So you're going to have to kill a wither to get this. <laughs> Which is, yeah, that's fair. You'll be able to get, like, netherite like, stupid quick. But, yeah, you're going to need to kill a wither to get that. Next is the diamond, diamond mining arm module. So it's four diamonds, two pieces of wool, a netherite ingot, a blank module, and a diamond pickaxe. And that will give you the diamond mining module, and now, and when combined with an arm, that will give you a diamond mining arm. So, that's the modules done. And the modules are one of the me main parts of this mod. So, this mod was actually created because uh, more player models isn't available in Fabric. Uh, however, uh, this is actually expanded on the entire premise, and it's a lot better than more player models. Because you actually get to improve stuff, it's really cool, it's got a really cool concept. So next up is RAM. You're going to need RAM to make uh, the basis of the modules and all that. And RAM is made with, you need to start off with one gigabyte of RAM, which is iron nugget, two pieces of paper and glass. You want two of those to get two gigabyte RAM. You can I do those to get four gigabyte, two of those to get eight gigabyte, two of those to get 16 gigabyte, and two of those to get 32 gigabyte. Now, you can actually eat RAM. <laughs> they are they are foodstuffs. You can eat them. So if I just go into survival and I give myself hunger. Now if I give myself hunger for a minute, I will come back to you when this is when I'm hungry so I can eat. Okay, so now that I'm hungry, let's see how much uh, saturation the gigabytes of RAM give. So one gigabyte of RAM seems to give half a hunger bar. 2 gigabytes seems to give a full hunger, uh, full one piece of hunger bar. 4 seems to give 2. 8 seems to give 4. And then 16 seems to give 8. 32 seems to give 16. So, yeah. Uh, they're a very good source of food if you have the resources to spare. Because keep in mind, they can be a little expensive if you don't have any kind of farm paper and glass or have a lot of iron laying around. So, with thanks to the campfire there, and running around with uh, hunger, <laughs> uh, that was... Oh, and also, it seems that uh, the 32 also gives you saturation for uh, five minutes, which is really good. <laughs> so, yeah, they're overall quite a good food source. Now, I discussed earlier that Rise of the Toasters has compatibility with Origins, but it also has compatibility with um, Chest Cavity. Now, it doesn't add anything, I don't think, with Chest Cavity, but I do know that it allows you to um, still access the Chest Cavity. But, yeah, that's it so far for this mod. I know the creator has a few more things to... There's a few things that they have planned as well. For example, they're going to add more augmentations, um, they, only, they literally only just added the armor cut, the metal customization. That was earlier. Um, I think they also might be looking at adding special attributes to protogens. So they are just regular humans, essentially, but with the ability to buff themselves. Um, yeah, it's. 
this is a really really cool mod and it's I'd, I'd very much recommend adding it to your playthrough if you are interested in anything like this if you're a furry or if you just want to have a cool race that you can literally make whatever you want <laughs> and it, it's really cool and a big big thank you to big thank you to JG Hunter for making this mod and there will be a link to it to the Curse Forge page down below and yeah um thank you for watching this mod review um as you have probably noticed this is my first video i'm quite new to this um but expect more expect more mod reviews of this kind of thing um my next my next review is going to be of a lovecraftian magic mod so that, that'll be fun <laughs> I'm also going to be making um, survival content, uh, mod ma mainly modded though. I, I, I prefer modded. <laughs> so, yeah, if you enjoyed and you'd like to see more, please leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, see you later. Um, so, update from later on with the chest cavity situation. I was, um, I was incorrect. There is, there is uh, protein specific stuff, but it's all just regular stuff except for the lungs which is pathetic water breath and exceptional endurance um yeah it's all just the regular human stuff except for that um someone also said that the protection augment may only work with chest cavity but i've tried and nothing and even putting it in you with chest cavity it doesn't do anything so yeah if you look here there's no change Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any change. Thank you for watching, and if there are any new updates, I will make videos on them. But, um, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.